Hey y'all, it's Cindy Cobb from around the town of the South, and we have a special guest with us today, Brooks Roberts from the Mississippi Delta. Brooks is the owner and partner of Lost Pizza Company that started in Indianola, Mississippi, and he has several locations now. He and his wife relocated to Santa Rosa uh, Beach, Florida, which we love Florida, and I have been watching him for now um, about a month. And when Hurricane Michael hit the, the Panama City area, which is one of my beloved beaches, I love it there, and also Mexico City Beach, he saw firsthand of the devastation around the area. And being a Southerner like we are, he started fi trying to figure out how he could help um, the area. Okay, he's in. Let me see if I can add him. Hang on just a second. Okay, give him just a second. I'll bring him in. Hey, Brooks. Hey, Brooks. Hey. I have an echo. I have an echo. Go 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 You're going to talk You're going to talk that for me. Okay. Yeah, you don't have an echo. Yeah, you don't have an echo. I do. Crazy. Yeah, I don't. Crazy thing. Okay, so. Okay, so. I was just telling the story that when Hurricane Michael did, I started watching. I started watching my news thing. And, and we have a lot of mutual friends. And your and post your post kept coming on my Instagram. And I said, and I said, when this is over, I have to have I have to have him around the camera. So thank you for joining. So thank you for joining us. No problem. I'm happy to be on here. So tell me a little bit. So about tell me a little bit about how you started. Uh, started uh, Lost Pizza Company. Lost Pizza Company. Oh uh, well, we started back in 2007. We opened in September. 2007 in Indianola, uh, my friend and business partner Preston Light and I uh, started Lost Pizza together. And uh, we, I was actually living in the Caribbean, and uh, Preston and I had both dreamed about opening a restaurant together. You know, I talked about it through college. We were college roommates, but we both got real jobs and. Uh, <laughs> Moved on after college, and a few years went by, and we both had uh, had worked a little and weren't crazy about our jobs. And so I packed up with my wife, Jenny, and we moved to the Caribbean for a few years. And Preston worked for a few years in agriculture, uh, and he came to visit when we were living in St. Croix, and we started talking about the restaurant idea again. And... Uh, we eventually, he talked me into moving back to Indianola, and we moved back there and opened a restaurant right next door to his parents' restaurant, which is Pea Soups. Oh, yeah. And it's been oh, yeah. for 50 years now. And so the building next door to them came available, and we, we just knew it was a sign. <clears throat> so we opened our first location there, and uh, it was the hit there in the Delta, and uh we make everything from scratch every day, and it's just a higher quality product than what anybody else in the Delta was offering, so it was a big hit right off the bat. So we opened our second location the next year in Cleveland, and then we, uh, being that everything is handmade, is very, very labor intensive, and so it was kind of hard for us to grow any further than those two locations because one of us had to be there pretty much all the time. And so we had a friend who was also in the restaurant business who was interested in doing a franchise in Tupelo. And so we, we tried that, and we realized pretty quickly that that was the way that we could keep growing. And so we shifted gears and started focusing on franchise sales. And uh, we now have 14 locations in Mississippi, Tennessee, and Arkansas. And we got a few in Florida there scheduled to open later this year and early next year and uh well, that is what that is what has allowed you to be able to do what you did for the people for the people um, um, the court opinion. The court opinion. and that's and that's what what i wanted to know the, wanted to know the history of how it came about the, the time freedom the time freedom, the time freedom is financial um, um, i don't call it a freedom, call it a freedom for you because you do have access, you have access to some money, some money and, money and um, food, 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 food,
So is my new so is my new is um, um, there to myself. There to myself. Who does that? Who does that? Who does that? Who does that? To go feed, to go feed this wonderful pizza, this wonderful pizza to these people. To these people. But tell me about but how, 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 how you decided, how you decided to need to get involved. We are southerners. We love to give back. back. And, and so we have to know how that to know how that came about. Well, it's been a long time since I've been in Santa Rosa Beach, which is only about thirty some odd miles from Panama City. only about thirty some odd miles from Panama City. Panama City Beach. And you know that's where all the devastation was, and we're we're big chickens when it comes to uh, storms. So I have young kids. So anytime the weather gets bad or there's any chance of a hurricane, we we run back to the Delta and wait it out. So we evacuated <laughs> and went back to uh, Indianola, and we were just like you said. We were watching social media, watching the news, trying to uh, keep an eye on what was happening down here. And we, we were very fortunate to have hardly any damage uh, here in my neighborhood, my community, but uh, they were not so fortunate right next to us. And as we were watching all of it unfold, Preston, my business partner, he has to uh, get all the credit for <laughs> coming up with this. We had this big trailer that we used to move restaurant equipment and things around, a big covered trailer. And uh, we knew that everybody in the Delta, you know, loves to give and uh, loves to help out when somebody needs it. And so we we just uh, made a few posts on social media, Instagram and uh, Facebook and everything, mentioning that we had this trailer. We wanted to fill it. We were going to be headed back in a few days to, uh, you know, try to get some just essentials for the people who had lost everything. And uh and it was unbelievable turnout. We filled the trailer up immediately. And uh, and then we had some of our food vendors. We reached out to them and told them what was going on. And we we wanted to do pizza, but we ended up not doing pizza. We uh, It was just logistically, it wouldn't work. And uh, because there was no electricity there, so where we set up, we, we had to think of what we could do, feed the most people with, with propane. And so we did a big uh, chicken tender fry. <laughs> and so what? fried fries and chicken tenders and French fries. And I think we gave out of about 700 plates uh, the first day. And then we had another group from Santa Rosa Beach that was going back the next day. So we gave them all, all of our other food that we had. And uh, they took it back over and cooked the next day. And then we also took the trailer load of supplies that we filled up there in Indianola. And we actually had stuff coming in from all over the Delta, Greenwood, Greenville, Cleveland, Indianola. And uh, we got all that distributed. And then we had several other loads come down since then. And, uh, you know, everybody here is, is as devastating as the storm was. It was really inspiring to see everybody come together and everybody had a great attitude even people who had lost everything they were just happy to be alive and happy to have friends there helping them out and uh it was just it was it was a lot to take in going over there and seeing all the destruction and and it made us feel really fortunate that we were just a few miles away and didn't have any damage and it could have just as easily have been us standing in line to get a hot meal because you haven't had one in over a week, you know, with no electricity. And wow. so, wow. um, so, was, how long were you, so how long were you helping? Helping. What's that? How long were you there? How long were you there helping? Uh, we went back and forth uh, several times over the course of about a week and a half. We would go over there and then come back and kind of regroup and reorganize and then head back over. And then we had other, like I said, there were lots of uh, other groups in our community here in Santa Rosa Beach who were getting together and going over pretty much on a daily basis. But it was so much destruction, it took us like three hours to get there from our house. The drive usually takes about 40 minutes because you had to weave your way through all of the, you know, down power lines and trees and a lot of the roads were out there. So, and it's still pretty bad. I mean, it's still 
there's still a, a long way. There's a long way to go. Yeah, I, mean, I heard their. Yeah, I heard their. Um, okay. Yeah. So you, okay. So you, so I'm going to say a good honey. Um, um, to raise money to raise money to do that. Is that correct? Is that correct? We did. We had uh, uh, our neighborhood. A bunch of people in our neighborhood here in Santa Rosa Beach got together and started a GoFundMe page, and uh, we we kind of sponsored a few families that lost everything and had to relocate here to Santa Rosa Beach from over there. And uh, we we put most of that money that we got from the GoFundMe toward those, you know, individual families and uh, just kind of sponsored them and looked and to see what their specific needs were to get them and their kids back on their feet. And, uh, and we've had, had a huge turnout uh, from that too and really you know change their lives well it's just a it's a wonderful thing to see well it's just a it's a wonderful thing to see to see someone giving back to see someone giving back I'm from I'm from and as soon and as, as soon as you as 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 noticed your friend noticed with, your um, friends with um oh yeah chad when i lived in st croix chad moved down there uh and Stayed with me for a few while, uh, for a few weeks actually, while he was finding him a place, and he lived down there. We were uh, island buddies for a few years. He's my first cousin. He's my first cousin. And I immediately texted. And I immediately texted his mother, texted his mother to find out how I could find out how I could get contact with him. And she said, "You will love and him." She said, "You will love him. He's wonderful. What he is just is something that he's raised to do. He's um, raised to do. He's watched his family. Um, he's watched his family. 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 We're glad that we have the, you know, the, the group of the following that Lost Pizza has. We call it the Lost Pizza fam. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> that, uh, every time we, we try to do anything to help the community, we have such a huge turnout from all the, our Lost Pizza fam. And we're just really fortunate that we have a, a business that provides a, flat, a platform where we can can do things like that to help people yeah, I out. Think it's I think it's amazing. And we thank you for giving we back. Thank you we thank you for giving back. We know that your work is not a good We know that community needs more help. We need 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 more help. I'm going to make a Facebook I'm going to make a Facebook page. And you can. 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 And people are looking for ways to get and get involved and get involved so, um, so we'll um, we'll just, we'll just, i just had to have i just had to have you thanks for me i actually got well, thank you for having me i took got me on the and that's just a devastation and being a part of I can't imagine being a part of, and I'm Echo, and so I'm a slow down. And I'm Echo, and so I'm a slow down. But I can't imagine being. But a I can't imagine being a part of that. Seeing the people sitting there, the water here, 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 the uh, there's still a lot of help needed down here. A lot of people lost everything and they're just now trying to, you know, get their lives back together before the holiday season. So they still need a lot of help. Yeah, they do. And, um, but, uh, thanks for having me. Well, yeah, they do. Yeah. Oh, I was just saying, thanks for having me. Thank you. And thank, thank you. 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 Yep. 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 Yep.
if you're in the chat, um, I'd love to make a conversation. Maybe we could do something fun. We'll talk and talk about what we're going to do in the city hall. Sure. Well, yeah, I'm back in Mississippi. Uh, here lately almost as much as I've been down here. So next time I'm back up that way, I'll give you a call. Well, I can tell you, I've got well, a lot of people you, I've got a lot of bills on them. And I have to do what I'm saying. I'm saying that you're proud of me. I'm proud of you. You can't do it by yourself. You can't do it by yourself. But you were part of the one who ended up. So thank you. Again. Yeah. Well, thank you. 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 All right. Well, I hope y'all have a happy Thanksgiving. We'll see you around the table.